just in the last game I've been playing, uh, I've played about two and a half hours of High on Life. Ooh. Uh, that comes out on Tuesday, so by the time you're listening to this, you'll be able to play it. It's on uh, Xbox and PC. It's launching on Game Pass. It's launching on Game Pass. This is the game um, written by Justin Roiland of Rick and Morty and I'm sure other things fame. Um, but he's he's doing that that Rick or Morty voice. Who's the kid? Which one's the kid? Is that Morty or Rick? I think Morty. I think Rick. The kid who's always, he's like, oh my gosh, I, I, I. yeah. I mean that they, yeah, yeah, he's like character <laughs> voice. Yes, he's doing that from the get go. Um, it is a it is a shooter, and um, I actually I was thinking that this game might be one of those like very grating like. Uh, <laughs> I find Rick and Morty to be grating personally. Like I just don't really vibe with it. Uh, um, I like this. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rick what is the old saying? guy, by the way, and Morty is the kid. Okay, so yeah. Morty. So he's doing that voice. In he's one of the he's the first gun that you get. Um, I think it's very hit or miss. Like Midnight Suns, there's a fucking lot of writing in this, and I think writing is maybe being a little too generous. I assume that they just put people in a voice box and just said talk. Like for example, the enemies don't shut the fuck up ever and it, and that would be fine if they were like it, it's not a problem necessarily it's just that they're just like spitballing like joke adjacent ideas all the time i was fighting one and one randomly just said my favorite tv show is teenage mutant ninja turtles it's not really a joke but thanks for coming like <laughs> glad that made it into the game um it like again not a joke not relevant to the shootout that we're having here but um like like it's kind of indicative of like a lot of the lines that are in there you know yeah i think that's like it's one very of those, hit or miss for me it's one of those things that? that i think too like with um like rick and morty a lot of it's just like the improv that they eventually will like write around you know they do a lot yes. of improv and stuff and make the game around now i i don't know that i don't i think that can work in a cartoon in a game that's based on a lot more stuff it's a little different medium to like kind of deal with that i think yes so you're able to um the there are options in terms of like how much you want ch how much chatter chat, you want to be chat happening mode. yeah <laughs> i have it on i like i have it on just because it's like Sometimes it's okay, um, but it also I feel like this game reads a little bit like they found out what the word fuck is. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it's just constantly being used. And, you know, I don't necessarily mind that per se, um, but it sometimes just like falls in place of, of humor. And I, I don't think that always works. Um, but I, I think this is the sort of game where if you are a fan of Rick and Morty, you will love this. Like... I'm not a fan of Rick and Morty, and I think it's okay. I don't mind it. The game, like what you're actually doing, it's a, it's a first-person shooter where you're running around and helping people out, and like it's in you know crazy, wacky space stuff. Um, so like it, the, the shooting is good. It feels good. Like it's it's fun in that sense. Uh, and I think the writing is inconsistent, but generally I don't find it terrible. The, I find there to be a lot of like just moments where you just stand there and go like. Uh, like okay, <laughs> like sure. I, I remember I watched a, a scene. Uh, I forget what show it was that kind of like got me into being like that's pretty funny, um, and like for all the wrong reasons. But like it was a scene where there was like a kid like giving you like shit or whatever, and like you go your your guns like hey you should you don't shoot that kid okay, and then you <laughs> yes. go to, you try to shoot the kid and then it, like and he's like what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? Yeah, you would shoot yeah. the kid. Yeah, and then eventually if you keep doing it, you can actually shoot the kid. <laughs> so yeah, so you. Uh, I guess to spoil this joke here, yes, you get stopped by this kid. This is like in the beginning of the game. You get stopped by the kid, and like you, if you pull the trigger to shoot him, the gun is like, "What are you doing? Like, stop! Like, no, we're not gonna. I'm putting my foot down. No, we're not gonna kill this kid." And then the kid won't move, and so he's like, "Fine, fine, we'll kill the kid." Boom! You shoot him, and he dies, and it's like, "Whoa, fuck!" <laughs> um, like that sort of stuff. Like that stuff, I think works, you know. But when it's when it's just like random stuff. Yeah, like just they're just like spit like spitballing everything. It just like that for me is is not when it works, um, or or like I said when it's just like someone going like oh fuck oh shit oh fuck like uh, like 
they've proven that they know swear words like yeah <laughs> you yep. know but like it's not funny per se and I, I think humor is one of those things that is so hard to pull off in a video subjective game. right so yeah. not only is it subjective but in a video game trying to like match moments with dialogue in a way that works and like humor is all about specifically curating an audience through a joke walking them through it testing out and, like, like their reactions and timing yeah. and when you don't have that stuff and when you're doing a game that you can slightly be off and i even think the same thing with horror and i think there's more experience with horror mm -hmm. games but i remember uh when my fiance uh i had her play through the pt demo and there's that no. one scene with the door and if you like you have to like peek into the crack and then you see the face and it like slams the door on you yeah, creepy yeah. ass moment when I played it. But when she's playing it, it's like one of the first like 3D like first person games she's playing. She's like looking down at the ground, the door slams, <laughs> and I'm like, well, she missed that moment. She's not going to yeah. be scared by that. Um, and like same thing with humor though. If you miss that moment and if you don't have that specific timing uh, behind it, and you don't go the right way through a joke and it just kind of pops up randomly. That stuff can really like hurt humor. And at a certain yeah. point it can just be chatty and obnoxious at a certain point, which I think is a fair critique of Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah. And it's one of those things where like, is a character that is designed to be annoying when they are annoying? Is that like, to me, there's still no, it's like claptrap in, yeah. in, in borderlands. Like, I hate Claptrap because he's annoying, but he's supposed to be annoying. Yeah. But that doesn't. But knowing that he's supposed to be annoying doesn't make him not annoying. Like you know, what I mean? it's yeah, like it's yeah. one of those just like you go in a circle about yeah. it. Um, so like ultimately, at the end of the day, I think people who like Rick and Morty are going to like this game. I, I don't like Rick and Morty, but I. You still like it. There have been there have been I have chuckled. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a little like ah, okay. yeah. Um, um, it's just that there is so much of it that like the hit ratio for me is very low. What's the simple premise on this story? Um, your parents are out of town for the weekend and your sister and you are going to have a party but before the party starts. Some aliens show up on earth uh, and they're going to turn human. They're like their cartel. They're al like an alien cartel and they're going to turn humanity into drugs. And so you um, pick up this gun that is like, well, let's, let's go stop them. Let's go kill all their, the cartel officers. And then, it's just you like get zapped to different um worlds and different places to to kill the cartel officers okay simple simple enough premise yeah it, it is yeah it's simple uh, the worlds are like big without feeling like huge in a way that i i really like where like exploring is like it would not take you that long to like find everything um but if you're just going at the main stuff like the, like there are still stones to be unturned in each of the areas after you you go through them but they're not like so big that they're so overwhelming but um it's, yeah, like I said, it's packed a lot with a lot of writing and a lot of stuff um, to the point where, like, I feel like sometimes when everyone's talking, like, I don't know, like, am I supposed to click on the next dialogue option? Like, people are still talking. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I am enjoying it way more than I thought I would, which is um, a nice surprise, I think, for <laughs> me recently. And a nice surprise um, for my fantasy critic. Yeah, uh, I, I think the the critiques of this game are going to just be sort of what I've talked about, like people are going to either like this or not. And if you don't like this, you fucking can't stand it. Or if you really, if you like it, you're the, I think the type of person who generally is going to really like it. Mm -hmm.